Сьогодні активісти War Against War представлять, як Москва відноситься до представників західної преси. Imagine being a journalist, collecting information for a new article, and suddenly someone pulls a sweater over your head and throws you into a van. It is not a kidnapping scene from a spy movie. This is a true story of what happened to Evan Gershkovich in Russia. Evan is a journalist for the Wall Street Journal Moscow Bureau. He has lived in Russia for six years and has written for international media such as Agence France Press and the Moscow Times. Since February 2022, Evan Gershkovich has been actively covering the events of Russia's war against Ukraine. One of Evan's latest articles was on the downturn of the Russian economy under the influence of Western sanctions. At the time of his detention, he was in Yekaterinburg. There, he met with local civil servants and prepared material about the Wagner Group PMC. He planned to tell how this private military company recruits convicts and about the Russian residents' attitude towards it and its owner Yevgeny Prigozhin. But Russia's Federal Security Service believes this is espionage. Evan Gershkovich was accused of allegedly trying to obtain classified information about the activities of one of the enterprises of the Russian military-industrial complex. The journalist faces up to 20 years in prison. The Wall Street Journal Moscow Bureau Gershkovich used to work for is accredited by the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Previously, this accreditation instilled a certain sense of security for foreign journalists in Russia. However, the Russian authorities sent a message by arresting Gershkovich. Now no one can feel safe there. Evan Gershkovich is the first journalist arrested on espionage suspicion since 1986. Back then, the journalist Nicholas Danilov was arrested on a similar charge amid heightened tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. However, there is an opinion that the American journalist was detained to replenish the Kremlin's exchange fund. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation claims that the U.S. illegally arrested up to 60 of Russia's citizens. And most likely, we will see who Russia wants to get in exchange soon. Same as it happened in December 2022, when Moscow exchanged Brittany Grinner, the U.S. Olympic basketball player, for the arms dealer Victor Budd. <laughs> 